Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to my Contiki Swift. And today is all about water. So depending on how long I've had the water in the tank, I like to empty it out, start fresh. You can do that in a few ways. You can open a tap and just empty it, or especially in winter, uh, open the drain and uh, drain it completely. And I most of the time just open the tap and I empty it that way. So what could you use to fill your water tank with? You could use one of these. Or, I use this. Which is 10 litres. This is about 2 gallons. Um, so if I make 5 trips, only from my outdoor tap, there's my outdoor tap. I make five trips, so that's what we use when I set off. I set off with 10 gallons in the water tank. I don't fill it up, because obviously if you fill it up, you're going to have to pay the fuel to cart a whole tank of water. And there's no need to do that. So, 10 gallons does me. So I like to plan my route, and uh, I like to know where I'm going, where I'm going to stay. I always pick two choices. Of, of If I pick an area, I'll pick two choices on park for night, or search for sites, or anything else. Or word of mouth, I'll pick two sites that I'm going to stay at in case I don't like one, I can stay at another. And if you go on a, on the website, you can see where Sainsbury's and Asda, where every Sainsbury's and Asda is. And then you'll know where you can fill up. So you, you get where you're going, find an Asda, Sainsbury's along the way, fill the tank, either, fill it full up by then, I, that's what I usually do. And then you, you, your last couple of miles, you're not wasting a load of fuel carting a whole tank of, fuel, uh, a whole tank of water. And then you turn up on your site, you park up, you're there, you're ready and you have a full tank of water. And that's how I, I, I do it, I always plan, plan ahead. Sue's not bothered where we go as long as I've planned it <laughs> and we know where we're going and we've got everything we need. Now then, I'll show you us going into Asda and uh, we'll go and have a look at the machine, we'll see how it's set up. It's set up so you pay 20 feet, but it's free. And uh, it's free for water, you pay for air. So you put 20 pence in for air, but it looks like you put 20 pence in for two minutes of whatever, but it's not, the water's free. And it's free at most garages, most Shell, SO, all the named garages, it's all free. Right, let's go and get some free water. Twenty p. No, I don't think so. Water. There you go. So it's free. So after you've filled up, um, don't forget, you use the furthest tap. If you've completely emptied your system, go to the furthest tap. In my van, it happens to be the shower. So turn the shower on. When water's running through the shower, bathroom sink, which is the second furthest from the, uh, from the water tank, and then the kitchen sink. And then once you've got water coming through all three of them, turn it all off and everything's working fine. And uh, once you've done that, uh, that's it. You're on site, you're ready to go, you've done your water, there's nothing left to do. Don't forget, when you're on your way home, empty your tank. And then you're not paying to cart a lot of water anywhere. Well, there you go. Uh, that's how I do it with water. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little tour of the van as well. I did get a comment online, you should have shown us around your van, well I've tried to show you around the van. So uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you got some use out of it. There's plenty more videos to come, and have a listen to these two. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, yeah. Thank you.